Have you been wanting to make an app for your healthcare organization, but worried because you don't have any coding knowledge? Let me show you how to make your own no code app with Jotform apps. Hey everyone, welcome to Jotform. I'm Kimberly. Now there are a few ways that you can start creating this app. The first way is if you already have a form with Jotform you'd like to include within this app, you can find that form, hover over it on the far right, it's going to say more. If we click on that, we have create an app under publish. That's way number one. The second way is up at the very top, you can see we have this form already selected. Up at the top, we have apps, we can create it right here. And also if you have multiple forms that you would like to add in one app, you can just choose the multiple ones and then create a new app. Now, if you have absolutely no idea how to create an app, like what is this going to look like? My best suggestion is to come up to the very top where it says my forms, then choose my apps. Then up at the top left, the purple button, create an app. From here, we can either start from scratch. So if you have an idea of what you want this to look like, you can start there. But again, if you have absolutely no idea of where to start, go to the use template section. We have over 200 templates, so that way it kind of gets your brain going. So let's go ahead and choose use template. Now we can either take a scroll and see if something catches our eye. We can come up here to search all templates. We can search for healthcare or maybe your specific healthcare industry. Or over on the left-hand side, we have a healthcare category where I have 21 in here. And then down at the bottom, we also have some wellness apps that might be up your alley. Let's go ahead and go up to healthcare and let's see what is available. All right, so we have a patient management app, a, an appointment app, a dentist app, counseling, therapist, birth plan, medical history, anger management. There are a ton of different apps that you can look through, sort through to find one that's gonna fit you best. Let's go ahead and choose this doctor appointment app just to kind of get a feel. I'm gonna go ahead and choose it. All right, then a bit in the top right corner, we have use template. All right, let's take a quick scroll and see what this app looks like. We have our doctor's name and we have his profession. Next we have, looks like a medical history form and then a medical consent form. Looks like we might have a picture of this doctor and some patients. Then we have an appointment form and then social follow. Now you can see we have this delineation where it says add new page. And then down here in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see that there are multiple pages in this app. So we have the home page, which is what we just saw. Next we have reach us, then we have testimonials. So if we keep scrolling down, we have that reach us and we have a really awesome map that shows people exactly where we are. We have a call us and an email us button and then the social follow again and on that last page we can see the testimonials and social follow again so let me show you how to kind of get this going if you're going to start from scratch if you are familiar with jot form it is very similar to creating your own form up in the top left we have an add element button and you can see we have the heading which is the doctor's name right here we have paragraph a link we can upload a pdf document if you want someone to read something we have an image and then we have a button which we've seen pretty much all of these as we were scrolling already we have an image gallery a slider if you have a video that you would like to share with others we saw the map the social follow and the testimonial already if you have data elements you'd like to add, we have that as well. And then we have a divider and a spacer. Now something else that we have up at the top under widgets is you have even more things that you can add like a Facebook light box or an Instagram or even a WhatsApp button. But let's go back over to the basic and let me show you what this looks like whenever we add in one of these elements. So I'm gonna go up to the top and let's say I wanna add in a heading. If I just click on heading, it's going to add it to the very last page of our app at the very bottom. So let's see what that looks like. So I can see that it moved to testimonials and see it puts it all the way down at the bottom. Now let's say this is where we want it. I can go ahead and we see these six dots on the left and we can move it very easily within this app, even to another page if we want to. And then all the way on the right, we have our settings option. And this is where we can change the heading text. We can change the color. We can make it larger. We can make it smaller. I personally like the default. I think that's a good heading size. And then we can also make it in the center or we can make it right aligned if we'd like to. Now that's one way, but again, it's gonna add it to the very bottom. Let me show you exactly how to add it right where you want it. Let's say I want a heading right in between these forms and this picture. If you take whatever element that you're wanting to add and drag it in, you have control of where that element goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right there. 
There's some other things that we can do to make this app look more like us if we're using the template. On the top right, we have the app designer, which is the paint roller. So let's go ahead and click there. And we can see that we have different color schemes that we can choose from. If we know exactly the colors that we're wanting, we can add those in right here. We can add an image to the background instead of it just being that one color. And we can also change the font family, which is nice. Also, we have app layouts up in the top right. Now let's say that you want all of your elements to be center aligned and you have a lot of elements. You don't want to go through every single element to make it center aligned. You can come to the app layout and you can see there's plain, then there's left aligned, right aligned, and then there's center aligned. So you can choose this layout. It'll put everything centered for you. There we go. You can see everything became centered. Now from here, let's go up to settings. Let's take a look at what's under there. So first we have the app status. So we can see that it is enabled. So anyone can use this app. If we would like to disable it, we can. And we can also disable on a specific date if we choose to. We also have continue forms later. So if your forms are a little bit longer and you'd like to allow your users to complete it at a later date, you'll definitely want to keep that on. We also have add to home screen. So you'll see that in just a minute. Whenever someone opens your app, it's going to ask them, hey, do you want to add our app to your home screen for super easy access? Now on the left, we also have the app name and icon. So if we want to change this to maybe the doctor's name or our organization's name, we can do that. And then we can see this is what the icon looks like. If we want to change that, we can. We can come up here to edit icon. So it looks like this one is an image that was uploaded. So if you have a very specific image for your brand or for your company, you can remove this image, add your own. If you don't and you would like to use an icon, you can click on the icon option and we have a ton of icons to choose from. All right, let's head up to publish and let's take a look at our app. All right, first up, we can use the copy link button if we'd like to send our app to someone one-on-one -on -one or maybe through one-on-one -on -one type of communication, text or email. We can also down at the bottom use a QR code, which make it easier for for in-person interactions, we can have our users scan the QR code to open our app. But let's go ahead and use open in a new tab and let's see what our app looks like. All right, here's our app and you can see that pop up asking, hey, do you wanna add our app to your home screen, which is such an awesome addition. Up here in the top right, you can see the different pages. We have our home page, we have reach us, and then we have our testimonials. Perfect. If you have any questions about creating your own healthcare app, please let us know and I'll see you next time.